Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. All tasks have some type of constraint applied to them. A constraint is simply a scheduling rule that determines the start or end time of a task or otherwise controls the scheduling and rescheduling available for the task. Constraints allow the scheduling engine within Microsoft Project to reschedule tasks as needed within a project file. By default, Microsoft Project creates tasks with flexible constraints to allow for maximum flexibility in rescheduling. However, you can set the constraints for a task as desired to produce semi-flexible and inflexible constraints when needed. In Microsoft Project, the available task constraints are grouped into three main groupings, flexible constraints, semi-flexible constraints, and inflexible constraints. Flexible constraints, which are used for task scheduling by default, let tasks be scheduled without any date restrictive limitations with the exception of the starting or ending dates of the predecessor and successor tasks in the project file. When you use a constraint type, like as soon as possible, you are using a flexible constraint. You can also create semi-flexible constraints which allow for task scheduling within a date boundary you choose. For example, setting a start no earlier than task constraint lets a task be scheduled any time after a specified date has passed. This is an example of using a semi-flexible constraint. You can also create inflexible constraints. Using inflexible constraints prevents the rescheduling of the task. For example, using the must start on constraint forces a task to begin on the date specified. When you specify an inflexible constraint, the task is never automatically rescheduled for any reason. In Microsoft Project, you can set the task constraints within the Task Information dialog box on the Advanced tab by using the Constraint Type and Constraint Date drop-down menus. Simply select the type of constraint to apply from the Constraint Type drop-down and, if necessary, select a date from the Constraint Date drop-down. Then click the OK button to save the task when you are finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.